Hi there, YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the K-Bar fixed blade knife. Uh, K-Bar is an unbelievable company. Uh, it's very close to me. Uh, it's here in uh, Olean, New York. Um, it's an unbelievable company. Great customer service. Uh, most of their knives are American made. I mean, some of them are, are Chinese made, but those are their uh, cheaper models. Um, I, I've just been an absolute fan of the company for a while. Great customer service. Uh, just great company overall. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the K-Bar 1211. Now before anyone asks or gets confused uh, with the title of this video, uh, the K-Bar 1211, I'm just going to go ahead, I had emailed them and asked them. When I opened this box, I, I noticed that the, uh, the knife said 1211 on the side, but on the box, or on the knife it said 1211, and on the box it said 1213. Now I had specifically ordered the 1213 off of Amazon.com, and when I got it, I was like, you know, oh, geez, I hope no one opened this and put the wrong uh, knife in. So I emailed them, and uh, within 24 hours, they sent me a, a great email back, and they explained everything to me. Uh, so someone from K-Bar had emailed me and said, our models numbers 1211, 1212, 1213, and 1214 are all stamped 1211 on the blade. The differences are as follows. So I'm going to read that to you now. The 1211 has a straight edge with a leather sheath. Uh, the 1212 has a serrated edge with a leather, with a leather sheath. The 1213 has a uh, straight edge with a hard plastic sheath. And the 1214 has a serrated edge with a hard plastic sheath. The one that I'm going to that I'm gonna be reviewing today is the 1213. I got this for around $64, $65 on Amazon.com and it came out to about $70. Uh, that's with shipping and everything. So let's go ahead and open this one. I do have the K-Bar uh, Marine Corps 7-inch uh, straight edge. So that is also one of my favorite knives. I love the knife so much I had to get this one because I want to use the heck out of it for once. Um, and I'm a landscaper, so I will be using this a lot. Uh, so, all right, let's go ahead and open it. Okay, immediately, the first thing you notice, or what I, what I noticed when I took it off, opened it, it does say 1211 on the blade. Uh, USA and K-Bar Olean New York. It's Olean, not Olean. Um, I made the mistake of saying that numerous times when I got my first K-Bar, uh, which was many years ago. Uh, so yeah, this is the knife. Um, it's a, a beautiful knife. I just don't want to, I really don't want to use it because I just love the finish on it. I love that uh, anti-rust, anti-reflective finish on it. And I especially love the handle. Again, what I mentioned with the Bear Grylls handle, I fell in love with it. This one, again, I automatically fell in love with it. I love grippy, rubbery handles. And this is a, a great, great example of, um, of that. They call it a, a Kraton handle, I believe. And it's just, I, I don't know what it, what it is about it, but I just love it. Uh, so, all right, we have the knife there. Here is the sheath. It is a, I believe it's Kydex. It's super, super strong. Wow, yeah. Very, very strong. Um, yeah, it's a nice sheath. I was going to get the BK2. That's been a dream knife of mine, but I just don't like the sheath. I've seen reviews on it, and I even ha had, uh, saw it in person, and it's just a crappy, shitty sheath. Uh, especially the belt loop, the the, uh, the nylon. It's super flimsy, and it's just, I don't know. It's not balanced. This one is 10 times better. Uh, the sheath is a lot easier, uh, or the knife is a lot easier to get out of the sheath, it looks like. Uh, so yeah, and a lot of people ask what this is right here. Um, I believe this is going a book bag or something, or maybe I don't know Molly, something like that. Molly uh, pack, something like that. So all right, here's a sheath, and it does give you directions on how to how to take it out, which I will I do understand how that works, and I will show you. So and then it comes with some history on the knife, I believe. Yeah. Some history on the knife, uh, the original one at least, and a bomb ass poster. That's pretty cool. It's small, but that's pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. Even shows you the way the tang is made and all that. Very cool. All right. So immediately impressed when you get the knife. Uh, let's talk about the knife already. Uh, amazing handle. Already love the handle. I'm gonna get up here so I can see. Make sure the lighting is good. All right, so the handle is just very, very grippy. It doesn't, it has give to it. When people say it has give to it, does it feel like rubber? Yes, it feels like rubber. Uh, when you hit it, it doesn't feel like, you know, it's suppressing the noise when I do that. That's why, that's because it is, you know, it, it is rubber. Um, a very, very stiff rubber, but you can tell it's rubber. Did I say that enough? 
I don't think so. Let's talk about it more. Uh, I love the rubber on it. Uh, let's just, oh, I'm, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take out, this is my Marine Corps K-Bar. This has a stacked leather washers on it. Immediately when I took this out, I noticed the finish on this one, on the, uh, the, um, I don't know what the hell, the, the 1213 is a little duller or, uh, more dull than the one on this one. Uh, I did use this, I, I've used this one a lot. Uh, this has a stack leather washers, and I do also believe that the handle is shorter. Yes, it is. The, um, this handle is shorter. Just by a little. Which is fine, no big deal. Uh, same construction, really, though. The rubber kind of, or the, the, the grip does kind of, uh, ride up onto the pommel here, or the end cap. This one doesn't. So, yeah, just real quick, let me show you that one, and I will be doing a review on this one soon. Okay, and with what, what my other K-Bar too, I noticed too, this, this point is so damn pointy, it, it's just very, it's like needle, it's like a needle, it's so pointy. Um, this is 1095 high carbon steel, I believe, which is a very hard steel, I believe that's what this is, I, all I know is that this knife is very hard steel. Um, it really, really holds an edge that I've heard so far. Um, and I've seen people put it, you know, really to the test and it, you know, one of them, it broke, but I mean, it, it wasn't meant to stab into aluminum tubing. It wasn't made to baton, uh, a goddamn cinder block. Okay. I'm sure you could do it, but chances are that's not going to work out too well for you. This is a super, super durable knife. I will give it that. But if you really test it, um, your chances are you're going to break it. But K-Bar is awesome, and they'll probably replace it for you. Um, or you're just a jackass, and they won't. <laughs> okay, the sheet. Love the sheet. Very, very durable. It's not flimsy or anything. I mean, this is, but that's expected. I, God damn it, I hate this thing. I tried to... Can I, no, okay, I'm just screw it up. I, I don't like this button here. That feels like it's going to get annoying. Just like that, that one, the uh, Marine Corps one. It gets annoying. This one's even more annoying. Damn, I'm at seven minutes already. Holy shit. Okay, it says K-Bar right here, real nice. Uh, it has a nice texture to it, kind of a, a rough texture. Um, yeah. So, let's see how it goes into the, into the sheet. Okay, that locks in there pretty well. I saw a couple videos of people saying that this falls out really easily. But, I'm really going to shit. It will not come out. This is in there. It, it's, it's locked tight. Um, yeah. I am going to show you now how this works. So, let me get the lighting here. Okay. Uh, see where the handguard here, if that's what you want to call it, or the, uh, I don't know, the handguard. Um, on this side, it's not touching. On this side, it is. That is what is holding it in. Sort of like the Bear Grylls knife, not really. That is what's holding it in. This little knob right here is what is what uh, is keeping it inside the sheath. In order to take it out, all you have to do is press down, and it should come right out. You can press here if you want to. I mean, yeah. I think honestly, I think it's a lot easier if you you get a little more clearance on here. But if you want to try, take it out from this side, it's not going to work. Why? Because it's touching there, not here. Now, if you want to take this out, it is an ambidextrous sheath, ambidextrous to kit to carry out the chicken. It is an ambidextrous sheath, and now it's on this side. Okay, so if you're holding it left-handed or on your on your left hip, you're going to want to press this side. If it's right-handed, you're going to want to press this side. Okay, so that is how the sheath works, and it's very. No rattling. Well, maybe a little. Very, very, very small rattle. But then this freaking thing, which is, yeah, um, the goddamn Morocco. Yeah, that's going to get annoying. You can take it off. Because you don't need it. There's no reason unless it's going to be, you know, a flinging. But, ugh, it just bothers me. Okay. Damn, I love this knife. Um, so that's really, okay, the cut test. I'm going to use a piece of paper here. Not cutting the Marine Corps symbol. I made this in a graphic arts class. It, it has a, I have like a whole stack of them. Um, so let's see. Super sharp. No, hold on. 
There we go. It's not cutting because I'm an idiot, but I've already cut paper with it. Like, absolutely razor sharp. I swear to God, I'm retarded. There we go. So, very, very, very sharp knife. It is razor sharp that you can cut hair with it. Um, yeah. I mean, that's really all I have to say about the knife. And the sheet. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I just can't speak highly enough about the company. It's an unbelievable company. It's here in the United States. Great customer service. Uh, their uh, products are absolute like quality. Just 100% quality. I would trust this uh, with my life, I guess. I don't know if that's a good thing to say. I, I mean, I guess I can trust it with my life. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. But thank you for watching. And once again, I do highly recommend K-Bar. I love K-Bar. I've never had a problem with them. So, that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time. And I will be reviewing the Marine Corps K-Bar. Hardcore lives, hardcore knives. That rhymes! Thank you for watching.